Just what does the Superior Court judge do, and how much can personal beliefs influence jurisprudence? Here to help answer those questions are Attorney Paul Finks, former San Diego County District Attorney, now partner with the law firm Higgs, Fletcher & Mack, and Carl Luna, Professor of Political Science at Mesa College. Thank you both for being here. Nice to be here. Paul, I first want to disclose that you did support Garland Pede. Uh, in this election. He's a good buddy and a drinking buddy and I'm <laughs> going to see him tonight in Del Mar for <laughs> drinks and console him for losing the election. So, okay, yes. full disclosure there. Yeah. Uh, tell us what is the role of Superior Court Judge? Any trial uh, in San Diego County goes before a Superior Court Judge who calls the balls and strikes and sometimes is actually decides the case based upon motions that are made and legal arguments. So if you have a dispute that goes to court, a Superior Court Judge is a critical component of whether you're going to win or lose that case. So I'm going to throw this out to both of you. Does it matter whether our new Superior Court Judge Gary Creep believes President Obama is a citizen or not? That particular issue, no. Okay, <laughs> if, if, the, if we're just that issue, the answer, answer would be no, because he's not going to rule on whether Obama gets to be president or not. <laughs> but with respect to, is it a, is it a, a window into the analytical powers of the judge and how that judge weighs and evaluates evidence, it does give you something. So if you're, I'm in court every day. So if I know a judge sees the world that way, I'm gonna argue that the world looks like that to that judge. And I'm not going to try and convince some liberal Democrat who was appointed by Governor Brown uh, in the same way that I'm going to convince some uh, right of center Republican who got got elected uh, on a platform of a certain style of constitutional interpretation, be it right or wrong. So it does influence how you try so, a case. So when you go into Judge Creep's chambers, you will not be wearing an Obama bumper sticker on your briefcase. <laughs> I, I, I will be much more circumspect, yes. that's correct. It's Carl, do we know who we're voting for, typically? For judges, not really. Most of the time when, vote, when you have a race that makes it to the ballot because it's contested for the judge, you'll see a judge is running against a lawyer because you have to be a lawyer to run. And people don't like lawyers, they like judges, even though a judge is a lawyer with a robe on. And the elected judge typically wins re-election. My rule of thumb is if you know who they are, their name, they've screwed up. They've been in the headlines for something. Uh, they've committed a crime and they're not going to be reelected. You mentioned name. We can't ignore that in terms of creep versus peed. Was this just chance that someone picked? You know, people were voting for, you know, the less funny name or the, the, name or the weird con name. The yeah, name was contest, it? Is that what it is? I don't know. I'm going to talk about that with Garland tonight, Garland peed tonight. But no, I, I don't. I don't think it goes like that. I think you have to have the resume for the time. In the 1990s, uh, crime was the number one issue in the entire country and in the county by a margin of overwhelming margin. Today, crime is not as big an issue. As a matter of fact, the issue on the ballot this time is public employees and the benefits of public employees and whether they should be cut. And so public employees on the ballot did not do well. Non-public employees on the ballot did better. So it may be that it's just the, the, it gives us a temperature of what the public is feeling in, in a down ballot race that only looks at a limited amount of information and votes on that limited information that the person working for government who was endorsed by other people in government was not as attractive as in past years. We haven't got a lot of time left, Carl, but uh, did the media drop the ball? The only story that we could find was this uh, City Beat article by Dave Moss on this back in February about who Gary Creep was. Did the media drop the ball? They did, though if you're going to drop the ball on a race, this is the sort of race you don't pay attention to. Judicial races typically are not recovered all that much. That being said, I would imagine future races are going to have a lot more attention paid to them. Well, thank you both for being here. I want to send people to our website, though, too, kpbs.org, because I know you had a much longer conversation with Maureen Cavanaugh about this issue, something people are, t are all talking about today. Thank you for being here. You're welcome. Thank you.